Right, let's kick off the stream again because I want to do this update and I'm very curious if this will work. I don't know, most of you are at work so I don't expect you to actually watch this live but in case you're uh, having a small, small break or something or um, your boss isn't looking or your your own boss and you don't have not have enough discipline and you want to do something else like watching YouTube videos then you're welcome. Um, anyway, uh, yesterday I did a stream of about an hour um, trying to design, or actually we did design uh, ZX Spectrum Plus case rubber feet, or the same type for the toe tracks of course, uh, because um, there is kind of a sh shortage on rubber feet for those ZX Spectrum models. And um, some people replied to the Facebook posts and YouTube video that they would just use uh, simple standard um, rubber feet and use double adhesive tape for example or even glue to put them on the case I wouldn't do that myself because um, a computer like a ZX Spectrum 128K toe track is uh, such a rarity that it needs to be um, as original as possible uh, and one of the m major parts what I think um, is the rubber feet. So you, you should have original rubber feet on your toe track and if you don't have those then aesthetically it's I don't think it's original but that's just my opinion. Um, so um, I really would like to be able to have original rubber feet or original replicas and that's a bit kind of a problem because yesterday we did a we did design the rubber feet we created a matrix of 10 by 10 and even created a stack of I think eight of those, so 800 pieces of those feet. But the problem is when I want to have them printed by Materialize, for example, and even Shapeways, but Shapeways, Shapeways doesn't offer a rubber material. That, that's, a, that's a shame, I think, but Materialize does. Um, but the thing is that the price is based on the material that is needed, the source material. So the rubber, um, uh, the rubber uh, material that is centered together. Um, just a second. Uh, the rubber grains, of course. That's that's the word what I'm looking for. You know, I'm Dutch. Um, so it's uh, centered together, and the benefit of that is that you can create high detail, uh, 3D printed things that uh, look like almost a production line uh, object, like a case for electronic uh, stuff, like my uh, ZX Spectrum interfaces, or in this case, a rubber part. Um, so that's what I'm trying to do here and um, today I was uh, thinking um, well maybe we should do it the other way around and why not indeed try as some people mentioned already to create a mold and inject rubber stuff into there and hope it hardens and you can open the mold and you have rubber parts and of course um, that is possible but it has a couple of disadvantages like it's time consuming um, you need uh, to get proper material li material for that uh, like uh, two component um, silicones or something which is uh, a, a kind of rubber there's of course more kinds of rubber but that's what I was thinking of um, so uh, first my first guess would be two component silicones um, but I had another idea and I want to show you what my idea was um, so uh, except for the mold that's another topic and we'll, we'll go into that in a, in a minute uh, my idea was to use something like a silicon sealant and you can just buy them in black um, tubes like this and I've even used them myself because in, in our toilet downstairs we have a, an automatic uh, faucet um, I ordered it from uh, uh, the US <laughs> by the way so it came all the way from the US to Holland because I couldn't find them affordable in Holland back then so I ordered them one from the US so there's some batteries and if you put your hands below then anyway this um, that's totally unimportant but what I wanted to say is I um, I had a uh, uh, oh what's the, what's the English word for it uh, um, a sink of course I had a, a sink made of um, stone some kind of stone from nature stone and it's a, it's a bit dark colored, so I thought that when I was using silicone sealant, I should have used. So you cannot, you can see what I'm doing here. Sorry, <laughs> I'm just using Google Translate. If I can't, can't find a word, oh, I'm so bad at this. Uh, anyway, um, um, I used the black silicone sealant for 
that small um, sink with the automatic faucet. So I've used it before and uh, my idea now would be to have the design which we made yesterday. Um, uh, sorry, some messages in between. Um, this was the design about it, the same design which we finished with yesterday, which is exactly the rubber feet for the ZX Spectrum, so 12 millimeters in diameter. And as you can see here, these are interconnected with a small, I want to say rubber pieces, but of course this is just a design and it's, uh, it doesn't know anything about which material will be used. Um, anyway, but, but I'm curious if this will work, uh, what I have in mind now. So what I want to do is, I want to create a mold um, with these parts as a whole, of course. So it must be inverted, but that is quite simple with uh, something like Tinkercad or some other stuff like uh, Fusion 360 or something. Uh, you can use uh, um, any kind of 3D design program for that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still uh, co coping with a lot of hay fever, so if uh, I'm making funny noises, you know what it is. Um, and let me get back here. Okay. Um, what we're going to do is two things. We're going to make the mold and we're going to check what the price is if I want to have it 3D printed out of steel, which may sound like something ridiculous to do, but I did it uh, a couple of years ago. I think I can find the, the, thing, um, the thing for it. So it's a dip MMC. Uh, if MMC and Joy Gold case, so another typo. Uh, here it is. Uh, so I, what I did is I, 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 oh, I actually 3D printed this metal case and had it gold plated. So it was really a gold case. It wasn't cheap. <laughs> I think it was almost 200 euro or something. But I wanted wanted to have this one because this was the case for the thousand Diff MMC and Joy interface back then. So it's a couple of years ago already. Um, but it's possible to print this from steel. Uh, it's, it's actually quite simple. You just need to take some things into account, like make the case thick enough. But we have a small design, which I'm going to do right now. Um, I think it won't be any problem. Um, so uh, I'm, I'm just doubting, shall I make a, um, a mold for just four of these rubber feet or more of those? Um, and I'm not sure yet. So what shall I do? I think this is more complicated because the silicone should go everywhere and I think this is just too complicated. So what I want to do is uh, I want to um, copy this design first and because this is designed for 4x4 four four, and now I want to duplicate that to a design of 2x2. Two two. That's what I am thinking. So this will be a 2x2 two two, and I will show you now and we will, will remove the parts we don't want to use. So we have to wait a second. Okay, I think it's done, yes. Uh, now we can remove all the stuff we don't want. Look at that, it's quite simple. Right, and again, the B is for Ben, or, or by the light, whatever you want. <laughs> but just because we can, because the original rubber feed also had a number on it. Yesterday I had one in my hands, I put it back I think, um, but it has had a number 2 on it, so I thought why not put a B on it. Um, right, so again you can see here, it's, maybe it's a bit hard to see, what I can do is put a work plane on the other side first. And you can see the bottom again, there's a small um, indent here, and it's the same as the original, it's half a millimeter. And these are um, as close as it can be to the original rubber feet, and the interconnects can just be cut away of course, it will be simple. But now, the next thing is, we're going to create a steel plate, and, and two actually, of course, um, and I'm not sure about the height, but that's not very important, um, because we just want two halves. Well, let's, let's first make, <coughs> sorry, let's first um, make a uh, part which will be steel, which is uh, two millimeter um, higher then um, on both sides than the original thing. So uh, now you can see it lines on top and there's a space of two millimeters on, on the bottom. And now we're going to make it higher because we want the same uh, on, the, on the top side. 
as you can see now it's um, two millimeters um, high, uh, higher on the top and on the bottom and the same we want to do with the left and right sides here I'm just going to stretch this I think or maybe it's not that simple that's good to do let's do it this way okay so a little bit bigger because if I'm going to stretch it I may uh, ruin some other dimensions so I think this is a better way of doing it so now it's exactly the same size I guess yes it is so we only have to two, to add two more millimeters and then uh, this, that's the same and of course because it's a square we can do the same here and make it 29 all right the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put it exactly in the middle and how can we know if it's in the middle well there's two there are two ways uh, we can either just see that it's, it's you can just see it on a small point here now it's aligned to the left side so two steps further because the snap grid is on one millimeter and we're done another way of doing this is just create a hole and you can see that it's exactly in the middle or a hole in this case is it, it makes it transparent and if you if you would what, what do you think <laughs> i know what will happen if, if you combine these two objects what do you think it will happen well it will just disappear because i made a hole through the component so we don't want that uh, what we do want is the other way around so we, this will be the steel let's give the steel color let's make it light gray or something you know uh, the next thing would be to make two identical parts so this is 12 let's make the six and let's make another one put it right on top of this one and then uh, put it above the other part Oh, that wasn't supposed to happen. Uh, I just, I meant to put it on the other part. Yes, there it is. So we have two separate parts. And now the thing is, uh, of course, we can see the other, the, oh, the actual, uh, the actual uh, design itself. But if we make this a hole, and that's the cool thing about the way of doing this, then it will be cut out on both sides. So if I put this back and I would, um, let me think if this will work. Um, well, I don't think this will work, and why? Why not? Because, because uh, we need two of these holes now, because we need a hole on the top and we need a hole on the bottom. So we can do it this way, for example. Let's see if it's aligned. It's not aligned. Now it's aligned. Yes. So we have a uh, we have the the four rubber feet um, uh, duplicated, and this will make a hole on this part. Let's do that look at that that's the hole on the bottom and it should have it's hard hard to see but as you can see here uh, the hole goes underneath the, the steel here which could be a bit tricky because I have no idea if that will work with molding but we'll we'll go and do another step I, I, of course I know a bit of molding uh, um, you need an you need an, an outlet if you push in some stuff and there's air in this in the in the holes already then you will close the, 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 the all the all the sides and the air won't go out so you need some holes for the air to go go out um, but let's do the first the, the same with the uh, top part here and you have the same thing going on here uh, so we have uh, the cone shaped uh, I'm zoomed in too much I think um, so if there's cone shape here and um, there should be noticeable B but I can't see it right now I'm not sure why why can I see it and why is there this here uh, why is that what is that uh, let me think let me think let me think what's going on here um, I guess the this is just a piece of metal or sorry a piece of uh, the, the other part uh, let me think what I, I think the best thing I can do is um, heighten the, the transparent parts a bit so we'll show you what I mean because 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 so both of these I want to raise but but just a bit so half a millimeter may already be too much so let's do 0.1 maybe why not Although they, they just have to be um, to cut out of on both sides have to be the complete rubber feet itself, but I can just move it uh, just a bit, and yeah, there should be. Uh, I can see it now in the middle of the screen. 
I'm high, heighting it uh, for tenth of a millimeter. I will do uh, two tenths of a millimeter. So 0.2. Oh, that's only one. And this is I don't know what I'm doing here. Again, okay. 0.2. That's what I want. Yes. So let's see if that will remove that piece. Uh, okay, I have to lower it actually. Oh, okay. So um, 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 there's a cutout on the bottom of the um, rubber feet, um, but now at this moment it's it's the cutout is too. Uh, hmm. Why is this happening? I'm I'm thinking of how I should look at this. Let me let me just check. I, th I should think the cutout should be higher. Am I wrong? I'm not sure. Here's the cutout. See, you can see it here. So what is going on here? Uh, okay, so it's it's the part in between here. Um, th this is a hole and this is another. Okay, I, I really have to lower it. Look, 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 look what I mean. So I really have to lower it. And uh, you can see exactly what is happening there over there see so, so see now it's uh, completely um, on the bottom again and I think this should work let, let me see let me check I think it's hard to explain what happens here but anyway um, no, it's still not enough let's do another one then I hope I didn't misalign the two now but now we have the same problem over there and we don't want that. So how can we solve that? Oh no no I'm doing it wrong. Wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna put this back on one millimeter because I'm really ruining it now. <laughs> uh, because this one has to be one step to that side. Is it still aligned now? Oh no. Moving the whole thing. All right. Is it still aligned? Is this aligned? No, it's not aligned. Is it? It is aligned. Okay. And that is aligned as well. So the the problem now is that we have to cut out, and um, if if we would, um, so here the cutout means the cutout from the hole means that there will be material material. So if, you, if I join these two parts, then we will see the cutout here. Oh, we'll see the cutout. That's okay. But we don't want the cutout from the hole to be in the top part of the, of the metal. Because if we would join these two parts, then you will have some material left. And that's on, on one of the thing here, this part of material. So I think I just have to lower it, am I right? Let's try it again. But one millimeter is way too much, so let, let's try 0.25. This is the move part. Oh, 0.25. That's all, all I wanted. Uh, let me see if the yeah now it's gone here, and let's see if this works as well. And of course it will because it will just lower the um, the cutout here, and you can see that the cutout is not just uh, not completely um, leveled with the uh, top of the metal part. Uh, what will what should be metal. So now we have, a, I think, a kind of a perfect way of doing this. The only thing I'm not seeing here is the letter that I put on, and I'm wondering why not. Uh, there should be an indent there, a letter, and I can't see it. Oh, I can see it here. Hmm, that's strange. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I, f I know what's going on here. I think it's, I think it's not completely. Um, oh, I will show you. Let's just ungroup um, this again. I know, and again, I'm no expert. <laughs> I just use this a lot. <laughs> but I'm no expert. Oh, this, I think this is the wrong way of uh, moving that. Uh, let me put the snap back to one, which is more simple. Right. Um, I think these two do not align. So there must be, yeah, there must be a, a small distance between the, the letters here and the material. So I want to, that to be 
make contact with the rest of the material, which is important. Uh, let's select those. Uh, and I'm not sure what the height this is. 0.5, okay. Um, I will put it on 0.1. And I will lower it just one step. That's enough. I'll put it back to 1. And we will group it again and make it a hole again. Uh, group and hole. And I think now it should work. Align, align, come on, align. It's not aligned, is it? No, it's aligned. It doesn't look aligned. Is this aligned? Oh man, I hate this. Uh, um, okay. So I have to look exactly at this distance to that distance, and that's two and a half. Um, blocks and that's two and a half and that's more than two and a half so uh, there's, there's another problem that's totally unaligned now um, how can I solve that problem uh, let me think of course I thought it was aligned but it isn't um, it must be so what's the easiest way of doing this the top and bottom are aligned but the left and right are not so I guess I just have to move it a bit. So now it's that's hard to see here because of all the lines. Um, let's see. So from there to there, it's two and a half. From there to there, it's also two and a half. Yeah, it's two and a half. It's just that it's not not exactly aligned, and I, I don't like that. But anyway, uh, what I want to know, um, what should I do? Should I do it perfectly first, um, or should I just try to make a calculation of the price first? Um, I'm not sure. Uh, I think the best thing would be, yeah, I have an idea. I have an idea. I want to to make it exact, exactly perfect, and not create any problems. Because if these two are, are not aligned, of course, you will get very strange prints. Um, and I want to add some holes here to screw the top and bottom together so it will be pushed completely. Uh, so that's what I'm thinking of. Um, let's see. Let's see. So what I want to do is make this smaller. And uh, the size of this is exactly 25 by 25. So I can make this the same and then I can make it bigger. Uh, once I am sure, certain that it's that it's, it's aligned correctly, completely, and it's not, as you can see. Okay, now it is. Yes, it is. It is. Okay, that's that's the first one. Let's do the same with this. 25, 25, and now let's uh, move it. Move. As you can see here. It's not 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 exactly. You cannot exactly see if it's aligned or not. So this is a six millimeter high, I think. Uh, can I see that here? Yeah, it's six. So what I want to know is, let's put it on the, on the floor first. And now we want to know if it's exactly aligned. So now it's exactly in the middle. And that's what I wanted to know for sure. And now we can um, make it bigger again. Uh, Oh, I'm just thinking, is it necessary to make it bigger? Yes, it is, because otherwise materialized will complain that the sides are not thick enough. Um, so we need some more space. So we need, we need exactly 2 by 2 uh, which which made it 29 2 millimeters at both sides. Not all sides, I mean. And then we make steps of 1 millimeter and then I'm, uh, two, two steps, of course, because it's 2 millimeters. Um, all right, same here. If I'm not making any sense, that's because I'm not feeling too well, but it will live. Um, all right. So now they're completely centered. That, that's for sure. Now we're going to raise it again to six millimeters here. So now it's perfect. All right. Let's uh, see what happens if we group these. Uh, we should see the indent with from the letter now. Yeah. Look at the B. So that's what I wanted. Uh, this on the top side. Now the same with the bottom. All right. This is the bottom with the, uh, the indented um, uh, part on the, on the bottom, and you can see underneath here if I'm correct. Yes, works as well. 
So we have two sides with make an actual mold. We can put them on top of each other, but there's no reason for it right now. Because the, the, the last thing, or, or last, uh, I'm not sure how, um, if we are there yet. The next thing we want to do is find out on which way we want to pour or push in the, the material, the rubber-like materials, just uh, synth, synth, something like silicones. And maybe the bottom is the easiest way, but I'm not sure. Um, I was thinking of doing it on a bottom, but the bottom is sticking out of the case of the ZX Spectrum, so uh, maybe it's better to uh, put it in, in the, on top, because um, that way you won't notice. And so I think we're just going to add a cylinder here. Not too big, so let's start with 10 by 10 and see if that's still too big or not. Because we have the nozzle of the... Let me show you the nozzle of the... No, not this one. Uh, this one here. We have the nozzle here. We can cut it to the size we need. Um, let me get back. Where is my model? There it is. Nope, here it is. Um, Alright. Let me see if, if I'm doing it correctly here. Problem. Right. Right. Uh, so we have a, a piece that goes through and through. This is too large, of course. So let's make it less large and smaller. And now, what I want to create here is a hole. Maybe I should make it a cone hole. Uh, so I can, can, could use the cone part here because. Um, let me think. No, 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 no. I don't need a cone because if I'm going to put it in here, how big would a nozzle be? Can can we find out how big the nozzle would be? Well, I think I think it's we can make it any size we want, can't we? Um, but I guess the, the utmost part is what would it be? Five millimeters? Ten? Ten is large. I think eight. Something like eight millimeters. So it must, I must be able to uh, at least um, put it in. So this now is 10 millimeters. Um, so should we stick with 10? I think 10 is okay. I'm doubting a bit um, because I have no idea how thick the nozzle is. Can we find out how big the nozzles are? Um, okay, uh, silicone kit, uh, sealant nozzle size. Something like that. Resealable standard silicon nozzles. Okay, these are the, just the nozzle pack, right? And how big are these? Doesn't say. Um, so I have no idea actually. Um, but I think it's uh, at least eight millimeters or something. Doesn't say. Do we have another website maybe that will say what it is? Um, eBay doesn't say anything about the size. How can we find out what the size is? I don't have any near nearby here. Uh, they're all the, in the backyard and in the, in the barn. Um, so this doesn't say... Oh, look, look, look. 170. Okay, this is good. We, we can use this. L let, me, let me show you what I mean. Um, so if we would copy this, uh, copy, and we would put it in Microsoft Word, for example. Come on, open up. Yes, this is exactly what I wanted. So we know this is 177 millimeters, so 17.7 centimeters. So what we're going to do is just uh, add a line of that size, 17.7. It's a comma here in Holland. So this is too big, but it's not a problem. So we're going to uh, crop a bit. Yes, all right. Now we're going to make this bigger and we can measure the um, exact oh, the exact size of the yeah you know what I mean All right so this is 17.7 if I'm not mistaken yes so now we can just um, come on we can just measure the size up above where is it come on go 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 don't do that stupid word I want that part yes thank you okay and go up no go up 
I want you to go up. Yes. So uh, normally I would cut it like like here or something, and this is uh, 0.8. So eight centi uh, point, uh, eight millimeters. So let let's make it eight millimeters. Okay. So ten is too big. Uh, let's do it um, eight. Eight by eight. That will work. All right. This is not aligned. Um, although. almost aligned. But not completely, not perfectly. Uh, okay, how can we do that? Or we have to... Um, can we use a ruler, of course. So let's put a ruler on one of the... One of the okay, let's do it differently. Let's put a ruler there. It won't work because it will, will not snap on that position. So what I want to do if, to make it more easy is move the whole object um, to one half of a millimeter to the right. And now we can put a ruler there, which is more easy. Ruler. And what we want to know is how far this is positioned on all sides. Um, all right. So we have a 11, 8, and this was, what was it? 29, I think. Yeah, 29. Okay. Um, 29 minus 8 divided by 2 is 10.5. So this needs to be lowered by half a millimeter. That's 10.5. And, and yes, it should be the same on the other side. 10.5, and 8.5, and and which is completely correct. Okay, that's what I wanted. So let's remove that one. So now it's centered. And now the next question is, um, uh, will this work? If I would lower this, this this transparent tube that will make a hole on top, um, will I reach the sides of the uh, the four rubber feet here? And will I be able to actually um, pu uh, pour in or uh, push in the, the silicone rubber from above, from the top? And then I have to make some outlets on the bottom part. Uh, so let's see what happens. It's a bit kind of hard because I have no idea when I will see it here. But let's see. Okay, uh, th it's actually too small. If you would do it this way, it's too small because um, the eight millimeter hole is not big enough to touch these rubber feet on the side here. So what I want to do actually is uh, to use a cone um, with the same top side but with a lower bottom size um, I'm not sure oh that's easy okay that's easy so what I want to do is uh, oh, this was six millimeters so I guess it would be something like four millimeters or something uh, would that be enough I think four would be enough so we have two millimeters of space uh, shall we make it free I'm not sure no, let, let's make this five and we can change everything else then. Um, so we will do, we add the cylinder, we, um, let me think. Uh, so yeah, so first this must be um, four. Let's snap it again to one millimeter, then we will move it up. Um, so the bottom part should be, I think, 10 by 10. Then the um, 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 and now this is uh, and I got one point one five millimeters high, so something like this, yes. But uh, the but the top oh, the top part would should be eight by eight. And how can I make sure that that will be eight by eight? And that will be a bit hard. What I want to do is make your work plane here. Um, we're getting there. It's just not easy. Uh, this can be a lot smaller because it's hard to work with that. But it's not. Um, uh, it's not, not really important. Um, all right. So we have a cone-shaped uh, piece here, and the bottom part should be 10 by 10. 
that's what we want and uh, the top uh, at the cut, cut piece here uh, should be 8x8. Eight eight. How can we measure that? Well you can just count the number of blocks here, that's the easiest way. Um, and that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, it's just over 7, 7 blocks, it's, it's about 8. So I think we're almost good there, but what we ca can do is lower this a bit. Uh, no, higher, higher, higher. Sorry, because I want we want to have uh, to make that. Um, um, okay, let's. Oh, come. On. Yes. Okay, now we can uh, count a bit easy, uh, more easy. Uh, let's. Um, I think we're almost there. So the next thing I want to do is make this higher. And if we join these two parts, we can see if it's good enough. So we have a cone here, and the size size are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the top is about eight millimeters. It's just a bit smaller. Would that be a problem? Nah. We can do it. We can do it better if we make it a bit higher, just a bit. Uh, right. Could these. So is this better? Yes, it's better. So this is a this is a, a one two three four five six seven eight. So now it's eight by eight, the the top part, and the bottom is still ten by ten because we didn't change anything of that. So this should be ten by ten. Yes, that's perfect. So now we have a better shaped part than this one. So we're uh, actually this should be about the same. So let's see why why does it think it's so high? <laughs> oh, it's still top. Look at that. I didn't see that. So this should be even a bit higher. That's the reason. Okay, now it's more easy to move. Um, what I want to know is, is it correct that um, these two are the same top size? So let's, oh, let's put them together. I want to put it on top of there. Then I'm going to move it and this should be about the same size. Uh, what's the most this is the simplest, simplest way of yeah, this is about the same size. So I'm I'm happy with this. Um because it's it's not a um, an exact science, you know. Um so we're going to lower this part and hope it will touch the the pieces here. And if it if it will not, then we can just change it a bit. So we will make a hole of that, we will remove the other one and we will lower this and see what happens. Can we see it? coming through and through. No, it doesn't. So it's still too small, um, which means we have to uh, we have to um, make it a bit bitter, bigger. And I'm thinking what would be the easiest way? Uh, can, could it be? Is it a problem if we make it through and through? Yeah, I think it is because it will be harder to remove the, the excessive amount of rubber in the end. So I just want some holes on the uh, rubber feet um, uh, sides where the rubber will come in and not more than that. So uh, let me uh, put it above again and okay we can make it higher and then the top will stay the same. But if we make it wider, then the top will move, move at the same time. That's not what I want. Um, so what I want is to have a bigger, um, bigger. Uh, I'm moving this back again because I can use it for measurements. Um, I want a bigger base size, and I want the top size to be to stay stay about the same. That's what I want. That's my idea. But I'm just thinking uh, this will result in a piece of silicone rubber that is hard to remove from the top in the end. That's what I'm thinking of. So is this the best way of going with it? Shouldn't I just do it through and through then? I think I should. I think I should. Because I can pull it out, I can clean it later on. It's more easy to do that. Um, so I'm just thinking now, what would be the best way of going with uh, with this? I think I think it's it's quite easy to cut it out, cut out uh, the, of cut away the the feed itself from the the inlet, 
excessive amount of material. So what we're going to do is we're going to ungroup this again and uh, make the base size bigger. That's what I want, uh, but I'm not sure exactly how, how big, but I think it's, it's the size of this here. I still want to keep it round. I think that's a good good way of doing that. Okay, let's just make it bigger and we'll see what happens. That's just, just what I'm thinking. And what we can even do is um, we can uh, remove this away. Oh, that's the wrong part. We can move this away a bit. So I can put this down and I can see from the bottom uh, when I'm touching it. So it's, it's only one, one millimeter at each side about that. So let's make it 11 first here and let's uh, align it again it's not enough as you can see and then we'll make it 12 and we will just see when in oh 12 I said not 11 12 and, and now we're touching it as you can see here we're touching it and just a bit and then I think this is almost good enough because we want a hole just just a just a hole of one um, square millimeter or something this is uh, about two so these are the inlets for the actual mole uh, holes for the rubber feet so this would be almost a good enough way of doing this and i want to have this come down just half a millimeter because this will be a hole in the end um, and that will be a hole so i don't think i need this no it will just be a hole so just remove that make a hole of this Maybe we're there already, but it's a bit bigger than what I wanted on top. So what we can do is lower this a bit so it's the same size. You know what I mean? Uh, and then we get another problem that, oh no, it's, oh no, because it's a hole now, it's just smaller. But it's not a problem. We can, we can, I think we can do this. Um, maybe I just have to make it a bit smaller, a bit bigger in the, at the bottom, because now you can see the hole is very small. This is too small, if you ask me. So I want to even extend this to 13 by 13. Oh, I didn't know what I did, did here. Okay, 13 by 13. Do it again. Come on, man. Click wrong in. Yes, and then align it again. And now the holes are big enough. As you can see here, the holes are thrown through, even through the edge of the, of the, we can, we can even get inside, so we can get a closer look, which is awesome. When you're doing this it's not easy because <laughs> the controls are not the best in this package but anyway we can uh, we can yeah you can you can see clearly here there's a, there's a hole that is big enough and uh, that's what i wanted to know so this this is a way of going uh making a mold i think um so it's through and through and the top size is still too big so we will lower it a bit again so now it's eight by eight and we still have a big enough hole there so this if you ask me this will work uh let's remove this Let's join these two parts here. Uh, let's put the workman back where it should. And now we have a huge hole here on top. And I, I really hope this is big enough. And it's quite sharp, of course. <laughs> uh, but I, I'm I just I'm curious if this will be printed without uh, materialize contacting me from, uh, with all kinds of messages. So it's not good enough, and uh, etc. So I think this should work, and you can easily remove all the um, excessive stuff from the top. Uh, there are some problems, though. Um, yeah, there are still there are really some problems, because if the rubber is um, solidified, how can you get it out? Because there's an edge here. There's an edge in the, in the metal, in the metal mold. And I really wonder if that, and the same here. Oh, of course, that will not work at all. Oh, okay. Um, do we need three parts then, maybe? Three parts of steel. Would that work? No, it would be the same problem. <laughs> oh, you can see I never did it before. <laughs> uh, would, no, we're, we're definitely not be able to, to get out the parts on the bottom, of course. Um, that wouldn't work at all. Would it work if we use three parts of steel? Because you have three plates, then you can remove the bottom and the top part, and you then you can just pull out the rubber feet. 
Would that work? I wonder. I wonder. Um, do we need three parts of steel then? This w this wouldn't work. I'm, I'm I'm positive that this wouldn't work. The design is, is a good idea, but you will not be able to. You know, if the two two metal parts are on top of each other, and the feet are rubber feet are in between, and you will pull the two metal parts off, then you will just ruin the rubber feet. That's what I'm guessing. So I think we need three parts. So we have a bottom part with the with pins, uh, if I may call it that. Then we have the middle part, uh, which is the the neck of the, the the rubber feet, and then we have the, the top part with the the cone shape and the and the letter B. Would that work? I think it will. I'm no expert, so we have to try. Um, so we have to do a couple of things here. We have to ungroup this first. We have to ungroup that first. Um, then we need to ungroup this again. And then we need to move the two metal parts first. Let's do that. And make it three parts. That's what I'm thinking. Um, and I'm not exactly sure what size these would be. Um, but in total it would be 12. And that's, that's easy to measure, of course. So what I'm going to do is lower this. Let's start with that one. Uh, OK, still have selected two parts. And now I, now I only have one. And I'm not sure what, what it would be. Is this good enough? Yeah, almost, I think. One or no, just a half a millimeter. All right. That's it's too much. Why is it too much? Uh, let's see. Let's see. So this will. If I do it this way, then. Oh, it's so hard. I never done this before. That's that's about the biggest problem. Um, let me think. If we do this, then we would have a bottom plate and I think the pins should be completely in this part here. That's what I think. But how, how can we achieve that? Because it should mean, could mean that I have to... Um, oh, it's harder than I thought. Um, it's not easy. But, uh, but that's with all things you do for the first time. So, um, uh, okay, this should be only the bottom and then the thicker part will be the neck. But I'm not sure how high this should be. Okay, so I guess it's 25 then. Yes, it is. All right, so that's the first. But I want the pin to be in here completely. How can I do that? Um, I don't, I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure. Um, so we have the bottom part, but I want the pin to be in here as well. So I think I have to be a bit more creative with this. Uh, but we'll do that in a second. First, let, let me put back this part here. So it's line now. So only the bottom part, but it will not have the complete pin. So what I want to do here is to uh, make the pin manually first. I'm not sure how big it was, uh, don't have a size here, but I guess it will be three by three or something. Uh, I can see this way. Let's see. This is this not one by one. No, it's bigger. It's four by four or something like that. Four and four. Uh, Four by four? I guess it is. It's not aligned. No, it's aligned. Let's see. Is this the correct size? Hey, it's hard. Okay. Yeah, this is the correct size. So it's a four by four pin, and I want, want to make it as, exactly as high as the original. So um, something like that. Let's see, it's, it's still too high. And now I want to make it less high. 0.25 maybe, 
Yes, this is it. Okay, so now I have created the pins with the bottom block. So the first, uh, I can copy this. All right, no, I can't. Uh, it's not a big problem. I think I can do this first. Let, let me combine those two. Uh, the intersections are still there, but I don't think that's a big problem. No, it's not a big problem. Oh, mm -hmm. okay, there's another problem. It's a small, minor problem, but this should be a tenth of a millimeter lower. It will be a bit hard. I'm not sure how to handle that. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Um, 15, no, that's odd. Oh, it's correct. Why did I don't know. Oh, okay, it's snapping. That's a problem. Okay, it's not a big problem. Let's uh, check if this is okay. Yes, so now we have the, the bottom part um, with the interconnects. Um, yeah, I think this is this is what I want. Um, and you can see here that I put the, the, the small orange block uh, and on the, the place there where uh, the pins should be, but these ones have to stick out. So that's what I want. This is the second, the second one. You can these two together and okay okay these are this is the, the the bottom block and i think this is perfect because the, the the rubber material can be put in here everywhere and if you open it up then it's it's easy to get out so that's what i want so this is the first part if you ask me let's group it and let's make it like gray right this is a, this looks a, like a mold to me. <laughs> the only thing I have to add is the outlets so that uh, the air can come out. So small air holes. That's what I need. But that's uh, the last step. Um, right. Now we have to make the middle part. And I'm thinking if that will be a problem. But I don't think it will be a problem. I think we we'll just have to add a part, uh, put it on top here, which will be a bit hard because I, I made the bottom part 10 millimeter. Uh, oh, that's wrong. Um, so it will get it higher? No, it didn't. So now I have to uh, higher it just a bit, heighten it just a bit. So now it's on top of each other, but it's 10 millimeter space in between there should be yeah you can it's hardly noticeable but it should be different still yeah there is so um let me first think what we okay of course oh i'm going to um, move this to the left uh, i still need to lower it but then i have to oh okay i can do the job right now so let's put it a tenth of a millimeter and make the 6.1 Oh, it's snapping. 6.05, 6.15. Mm, that's not what I wanted. Let's make it 25 first. And then, why doesn't this work? I wanted 6.10. It doesn't, doesn't want to cooperate. Ah, it's being a pain. That's because it's a, it's a, it's a snap. Um, All right, uh, in the worst case, we have a space of uh, 0.5 millimeters in between, and I don't think that will be a problem. That won't be a problem, no, it won't. So we're going to move this to the left now, because we want to make this the neck of the of the parts, you know? So exactly this and the, between that and that part. Um, that's perfect. So, I'm going to lower this until the top of the neck becomes um, visible and then we're going to make this smaller. Let me see, will that work? Oh, that's the wrong side, sorry. I should do it this way then. That's what I wanted. That's what I wanted, okay. Um, and now we have to copy this part again and move it over here. Um, so first we're going to copy this, move it aside, 
so this can uh, go as well. Uh, is it is it so, is that so? Because we have to. Oh man, it's so hard. Um, I've never done this before. <laughs> we'll get there. It's totally unlined, but it's aligned now. I hope. Um, I should check it more carefully first. So three millimeters on that side, three millimeters on top and the bottom and on the left side. Okay, it's aligned. <coughs> and I wonder now if I, when I join these two parts, um, will that give me only the neck? Yeah, except for the pins that are still here. And they don't need to be because the pins are sticking out from the bottom part. Um, hey Jan, good, good afternoon. Uh, is it good afternoon? No, not yet. It's still morning. Um, so, uh, how can I remove those four parts? Um, I think I think we have to do about the same with these four parts, but put them here and as a whole. Um, so let's first do this. Let's group these four. Um, let's copy them. Uh, put them there. Um, a millimeter and now we're going to make it a bit taller because it must be a hole uh, this is the most easy way we're making it a hole and then we're joining these two and then they should be gone and they're not completely because um, I, th I should make it bigger so let's oh that's hard because there are four of these so I have to ungroup them first um, so we have to make this a bit bigger, uh, let's say 0.5, oh, that wasn't supposed to happen, 4.5, 4.5, and then we're going to move this by a quarter of a millimeter, and then we're going to copy it, because these are too small. Will this work? Yes, it will. Just that it have to, has to cover the hole completely. And there are, oh man, I hate when that happens. Um, okay. Alright. I think this will do. Yes, it will. So we are going to make these holes and we're going to merge it with this and then the holes will be gone. So this is the neck part, if you can call it that. Um, I think that's okay. Let's group these again. Um, okay, there are still... Okay, we have two parts now. Um, so the when I'm when I put these parts together um, the material will go from the top through the neck to the bottom and once it's uh, solidified you can peel off the, uh, uh, put off the bottom and then the top and then uh, cut away the excess of material and then just push the um, rubber feet through the holes here and that shouldn't be a problem because it should be flexible and uh, the same it should be the same as, as in the Z spectrum case so that's that's what I'm expecting but of course I never did it so <laughs> We just have to wait and see. Um, but I want to try, and I still don't know how, how much this will cost, so that will be a surprise as well, uh, to have this printed. And these are free, free parts, so um, maybe I should make one part of it so I can uh, cut them from each other myself, which will be cheaper. But we'll see. Um, so now only the top part remains, that will be smaller. Um, and as I said, there's a small distance. You can, I think, you then cannot see it because it's only a distance of a 0.5 uh, millimeters. I think um, 0.5. Yes, yes, 0.5. It is. It's very small. Or is it 0 0.05? It's 0 0.05. I think. So it's it's negligible. It's not important. Um, I'm going to put this back, and the last part part is uh, the top part. Um, so I'm going to make this higher. First, um, has has to stick out a bit because it 
must cut away the material. And let's put it on 10, like the bottom part, which we're, we're struggling with. So it just has to go, it has to go just through the, the top part. And only just, and that's enough. This is enough. Um, then, if I uh, let's see, we have to move it through to the uh, to the left, and our, I don't want excessive material uh, parts of steel on top. So first, what I'm going to do is um, flatten it, and I make make it higher again. So I make it five millimeters. So I have two millimeters on the top as well. And now we're going to try to align it. Oh, this is an easy way because you can use the pin, the top part, top end of the. Oh, if I can see the top. Of, can I see the top? Well, it's hard to see. <laughs> I thought I had a, a way of doing it, but but I still think it's okay. No, it's not. Uh, definitely not. <laughs> I'm trying to align these, but it's hard to see. Uh, you can see there's, there's still different, so uh, this could be it. Almost. <laughs> but let's see it from this side. I'm just, uh, I'm just uh, trying to make it easy for myself. But <laughs> I should, I should make sure that it's uh, completely aligned. So let's check it in the same way again. Mm, this is not the best way. No, let's put the work plan on the standard. Yeah, this is, this is easier. So we can see here if we look at the blue. This is two. This is almost two. This oak as well, two, two, and the button doesn't seem to be two. Am I right? Oh, it's so hard to see sometimes. Uh, well, it's, it's, it is two. It's just, you know, it's the difference between this and this there. And it's, so that's, that's okay. Same here. Okay, so, so it's aligned. And we only have the top part here now, so I'm very curious if this will be okay. So this is the input hole, and here we have, and that's exactly what I wanted, the top part where the material will flow in the holes here. So then it will go through the neck to the bottom. So I think, I think we have a complete set of pieces here, three pieces of metal which will make a mold. And so this, this is almost, a, uh, almost ready and it's the first mold I ever made, so I'm really curious if this will work. Um, I'm really curious. You can, if I want to, I can uh, zoom in and I can follow through uh, where the material would go. But you can see it here. If it goes in here, then it will go to the bottom. So the only thing that remains now is uh, making some output holes so the the air can can go out. And that's that's important because when you put in material, you will um, uh, not have uh, any space left for the air to get out. So we have to make some holes. I think at the sides here. That's what I think. And I, I, wouldn't be a problem because you can just cut it easily from there and the intersections here they are not necessary but they're useful because the material will go through the uh, parts there and um, fill up everything the only thing we need now is uh, a couple of output holes and I'm not entirely sure how I should do that uh, but since it's coming from above from the middle from the center Maybe we should create the output holes diagonal here, maybe. I'm thinking of that, and it's not too hard to do. So I think I think we should do just that. Um, and I want output holes of just one millimeter. So let's make this uh, one by one, maybe. 45. So this is what I have in mind. Will this work? That's the question. So, uh, this is way too big. Let's make it 5x5 five five or something. So this, this is what I think of an output hole for the air, only for the air. But the problem is, if there will be material in here, then we have to get the material out again. So I wonder if it should be bigger because of that. But on the other hand, I don't want material to be able to get out easily. It must have some resistance, some pressure resistance. Um, so, um, well, what should it be? Is, is one millimeter too thick or is it, is it not thick enough? Um, 
it's only for air, you know. And, and I think if, if there will be stuff stuck, then I can use a small uh, screwdriver or, or something like that to remove material. But it's only for the air to get out. That, that's the only reason. So I think if this is too much. I would say it should be um, a bit less. So should I make it just half a millimeter then? Oh, it's already a point thirty. Four, thirty-four. So it's almost already. Well, let, 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 let's make it point twenty-five. Okay. Okay. Now it's point twenty-five. I'm going to rotate it again. So it's so it's a quarter of a millimeter wide now, and I think that will do. Uh, it's still a bit high. Can I make it lower? Of course I can. Uh, let's do it this way because we can have it stick out here. So now it's. 25 by 25 so it's really not not much it's really just a small amount just to get the air out and i need four of these and then we're going to try it first oh it's wrong because this needs to be a hole first and if i join these two parts you can see here the line go out just for the air to get out and i think this will work the only only question i could have is um maybe it wouldn't go out here but it would go out at the bottom of the of the part of the object and I don't want to do that because cleaning a hole in the middle of metal is a, bit, a lot harder of course uh, but of course the other problem is that the, the, the steel will not be completely flat and what, what I, um, so uh, there's so many so many things that could go wrong here <laughs> um, I'm doubting a bit uh, should I make this wider I think I think I will. I think I need I need to, and I have a reason for it. Let's put it back here. Let's make it 0.5 um, because because I think um, because of the roughness of the material. Otherwise, it will give lots of problems. So let's do it this way. Uh, it's still very high uh, because so it's one. Let's make it 0.75. Will make it more easy for me. Yeah. The, okay. Now it's still too too much inside of the of the case. So now it's yeah. This, this is good enough. I want to make it a bit bigger, and the reason for that is that the material is not completely flat, and it's uh, it's printed it's printed of silver. Oh, silver. Um, sorry, steel uh, grain. Hey, why doesn't this work? this work? This should work. Why is it not working? I want to copy this. Now it works. Right, one piece there. Okay. And then one here, which should be rotated. If this doesn't work. Why doesn't it want to work? Okay, it works now. Right. This is great. It's good enough. And one on the other side. And I know this is taking a lot of time, but um, I want I want to get started. I want uh, once in my life I want to do this. I want to create a mold and I want to pour in some stuff and know if it works or not. Uh, I've never done this before, so I really am curious if it will work. And it looks quite professional, <laughs> but uh, if it doesn't work, then it's useless, you know. So we have four output holes here for the air. We have the bottom part, um, which has the the, uh, the pins, which go into the the uh, rubber feet when it's finished. We have the three metal parts. Uh, I think I will need to sand it, sand the parts a bit. Oh, I see a problem here. Why is there an indent there? We have to check that um, because that will give problems if there will there will be stuff inside there guess or won't it be a problem no this this won't be a problem because you will just get the bottom part of it no this won't be a problem this is okay Whew. all right there's one thing left i think then it's ready there's that's um, a couple of holes to mount the three plates of steel together and uh, the smallest size of um, bolts I have here are these and uh, those are three millimeters so I've, I hope I can make 
holes of three and a half or four millimeters or something like that. Uh, I think three and a half will be okay. Let me check. Yeah, three and a half will be okay. Uh, so the bolts can go through and through. Um, but I'm not sure. So uh, what I will do is uh, make a cylinder of three and a half by three and a half. And that's uh, almost the, easy, the easiest thing to do here. <laughs> so we're almost done. Let's put this back. And I really hope this will not be an issue because otherwise I have to make the steel bigger again. And of course, what, an issue, what will be an issue is the distance to the wall because otherwise materialized will complain. They will not print it and they're completely right if I, if I won't give it the spacing. So this is enough. And I'm not sure now if the, if the, um, if I'm not touching any of the ins inside pieces. So let me just move this a bit. Ah, look, this is a problem. You can see it clearly. Ah, I didn't, I didn't think that would be a problem, but it is. Um, so I can't put a, a screw in here. Um, so I, I'm hoping if I just move it a, a bit, that they will accept this as a thick enough wall. So I want to have it like this. Will that be a problem? No, this will be a problem. I know that it will be a problem. But, uh, because there must be enough material, you know? Uh, otherwise they cannot laser it together. Um, okay, there's of course another way of putting clamps on it on the outside, but I don't have clamps like that. And that's why I want to use a screw. I can use the smaller screws maybe, but I don't have that large, smaller screws. Um, Can I use clamps? I don't think I have clamps for that. I, I can use, of course, uh, a clamp for, um, for 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 wood and so. Um, but it's a lot bigger because this is only three centimeters. But I think it will work. Just use two of these. Yeah, why not? Oh, I have another idea. I can use a. How do you call it in English? Uh, let me just show. I'm googling this. <laughs> Uh, vice. Yes, that's what I want to use. Let me let me just start with that. So this is the first mold I'm making. We'll use a vice and we'll clamp the three parts together with that. Uh, oh, there's only oh, uh, there's still one issue. Um, I could use a vice, but the, the problem is that the parts won't won't fall into each other. I have to align it myself. <sighs> will that be a problem? Um, if, it, if it's not completely perfectly aligned, then it will be a problem. But I don't want to make it more complex than it already is. I just want to know how much this will cost me and um, and get started. You know, I want I want I want to try it. That's what I want. Um, so I think. I will align it by hand for my first attempts because it's uh, it's only an attempt. Let's let's not make it bigger than that. It's only an attempt. Um, this will be laser centered. Uh, it, it consists of three parts, and now the only question is how will I send this to them? Mm, not sure yet. What I can do, I think that's the the best the best way of doing it. Yes, is. Um, Put it next to each other with some metal parts in between. I think that that would be the best solution here. And let's just do that. All right. So this is how I want it to to be printed and materialized. One millimeter space. Is this one millimeter or is it more or, or less? I mean, no, it's one. Right. So I think I will try to have it printed like this. I'm really curious how it will work out. I'm 
really, really curious. You can imagine. <laughs> but I think this will work. If I'm correct, then uh, the cones on the top will stop here. The material will go through around the pins to the bottom and the air will go out like that. Oh man, I'm really curious if this will work. We have to find out and the only way of finding it out is by just trying it. Um, so let's do it. Um, create a part, couple of uh, parts for the in-between. Uh, I'm not sure if wall size of one millimeter is enough. We'll find out when we're ordering it. So I want this to be the, oh, the in-between part. <coughs> Sorry. Right. Right. So they're connected now. So this can be printed, I think. And it's very, very interesting if this will work and how it will turn out and if this will be a good mold for using it with something like a silicon sealant and how durable the end material will be I'm very curious so this is what I want to try um, uh, what we can do in the meantime is just check if the material will be good enough um, so there are some guidelines of course Plastics, metals, steel. Okay. Minimum wall thickness, depending on dimensions, one to three millimeters. So one is acceptable. So I think uh, the what we did, what we just did, is acceptable. And of course, um, it is a mold made of um, laser sintered metal, which is made of grains. So I have to uh, do some sanding myself and some filing myself. But I think it will work. So what we're going to do is we will make this one big chunk of metal. So here it is. This will be my mold consisting of three pieces. When I receive it, I have to file the in-between parts and then um, try it out. Uh, it will be a bit hard, as I said, because I, I, I didn't do anything to make it uh, easy to align the parts on top of each other, which we'll have to do by hand. But because the parts are quite small, I don't think it will be a big problem. Um, so let's export this part here as an STL file and let's see what it will cost to materialize. Right. Here it is. Alright, let's put it there. And see. I'm really curious. I only need one mold. Don't need more. I hope it's. Oh man, it's so cheap. Look at that. It's only 13 euro. Oh, but it's, this is plastic. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's not only 14 euro. It's a. It's it's more expensive. But it's not. I'm. Um, it's not going to be that expensive. I think. Where's my steel? Steel. 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 There's steel. Okay. 34. 33. But it's a. Uh, for a mold, it's not too expensive because you can use this as many times as you like, I think. But I've never ordered this before, so I'm really curious. And I'm going to order this with the next batch of things I need to order because I, I think it will cost me too much on postage right now. Um, let me just check out. Let's see. 32 euro. Uh, oh, this will take a month, uh, three weeks. Even over three weeks to produce, so hmm. I just did another order of cases, so I don't want to wait that long. Uh, but if I have to wait, I just have to wait, you know. Um, let's see if uh, what the postage will be. It will be six euro. Hmm. Shall I order it or should I wait? Um, I'm not sure. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to order this uh, today or tomorrow. But uh, I think it's uh, wise enough because it, it will need uh, three weeks to have produced. 
Um, and it's going to cost me about 40, 40 euros. And um, I think it's worth the extra time of adding the, the pins that will align the three parts of steel together, uh, which will make using this a lot easier. And uh, I think I think that will work. I think that will work. And we'll use a vise, or maybe I will add holes for the, the screws. Uh, after all, that will be more easy, of course. Um, so we can just screw it together to fasten the three parts and then put in the uh, silicone um, sealant. And I think I will start with that. I will see if that will work as a um, as a material for the end product of the Sinclair Celic Spectrum rubber feet. And if that will work, then we can go on with uh, doing other stuff as well. But this is the first attempt. Oh, I've never done this before. So I will continue uh, making this and I will come back with uh, the end results when I when the case arrives and when I have to start filing. And after, I mean the, the piece of steel. When that, when that arrives, and uh, when then we will know more. So that's what I want to do. Um, I have no idea if you liked watching this because it was a, a long run, I think. How much time did it take? Oh. Well, one and a half hour, well, <laughs> that's a bit long. <laughs> but I think um, this is worth the, the time and trouble because it's um, it's a simple design and uh, it's the first one uh, mold I will be making. I have to learn a lot. But if this will work, then we can make um, all kinds of stuff later on. So, um, I hope you like this. Um, I hope this will work. Uh, I have absolutely no idea if it will work. I have absolutely no idea if the design faults that um, materialize will uh, bug me about um, um i think we can add the screw holes because the minimum wall thickness should be one millimeter i think this that will be able that will be an option here otherwise i have to widen it a bit i, I can do all, all kinds of things but uh, i don't want to make it bigger as it is now because i just want it to work and um, i'm uh, i'm not waiting for the exact time that i need to sand the insides because it but we will see if, it, if it's needed or not. Uh, maybe it's good enough as it is. We'll see. We'll find out. Um, I think I need some, uh, how do you call it? Uh, some stuff you can spray on that will make it easy to, easier to remove the, the parts when they're ready. Some kind of spray. I'm not sure which one, but I'm sure we'll, we'll find it. Our three weeks of um, finding it. So, thank you for watching if you have. Uh, if you not have watched this live because there have not been many people on the stream, then no problem, maybe you like to watching it another time. And I like doing this and because it's a, it's a bit of a journey for me. It's my first mold I'm making and, and we'll see how it works out. So thank you and we'll see each other later. Bye.